guys i've been making this really good cinnamon maple latte iced cinnamon maple latte lately and it's so good and i can't stop having it mm -mm -mm. all right so let's start with today's video um i wanted to share on how i take my photos for my depop last week i shared a video on how you can make money on depop but i thought the next step to that would be sharing how i take my photos giving some tips tricks all that good stuff it's really simple i know i am a professional photographer but literally anybody can do this you don't need professional gear i know that backdrop might be intimidating in the back you really don't need any professional gear it's really really simple so i will start off on the gear that you will need you don't really need much the only need is your phone uh, i do use my phone about 90 percent of the time to take these photos very rarely i will whip out my camera um but my actual camera but it's a lot of work and honestly the phone does the job perfectly fine for it so just use your phone you don't need anything fancy just use your phone uh, yeah so how i take my photos there's two different ways I, how i take them i usually will have them on my body um so that way the potential buyer can kind of get a visual idea of how it might look like on their body um obviously nobody is the same but it's more visual i'm a visual person i like need to see it kind of a thing so i feel like if i'm like that there's definitely a lot of other people that are like that so kind of why i do it i just think it's more appealing to just view it than having it hanging on a hanger but that's just me that's just how i like it to do it. so i put the clothes on my body and i take them in front of a backdrop now the backdrop i use is right behind me i put it actually all together all by myself which can get really tricky because sometimes it'll fall on me and it's it's really tricky doing it by yourself putting this backdrop but i literally make it tricky because i just literally do the most complicated way to put it on because i just want to do it really fast and whatever i just always complicate this anyways it's not helping i said this would be simple it is simple um i use a backdrop like i said um you don't need a ba fancy backdrop like that you can literally use a bed sheet just make sure there's no wrinkles in the sheet so either you know use a steamer or just iron it um and hang it up somewhere you don't even need an actual like backdrop holder you can just um like tape it to the wall like literally you could just become creative just whatever works i use this pink backdrop i have a lot of different backdrops i personally just like that the most i feel like it just fits my depop shop the best i might change it in the future i have tried to change it up a bit but i didn't like it i don't know i just like that but you can literally use a bed sheet or a just a blank wall in your home or like literally whatever trees as your background whatever you want like get creative whatever you think will work for you i do want to say though that don't have a busy background so like definitely don't have a messy room or don't just don't have too much going on like you want it to be really simple so that way your buyer their eye goes directly to the product and that's the focus and if you have a messy room no one's gonna want to buy that because they're gonna think that item is potentially coming from a dirty home and that's just all kinds of gross basically what i'm just trying to say is keep it simple okay just keep it simple have it nice and clean nice clean background all right so now that you got your background going the next thing you want to focus on and that i focus on is your lighting so there's two places i actually take these photos outside like you saw in the setup and sometimes i take it in my room my room it isn't very big so it can get really tricky to take them in my room i do get creative and i'm like bending backwards and this and that kind of a thing just to take the photos in here but sometimes i just don't want to go outside so i'll take it in my room what i do focus on is making sure i take it during the not with natural light literally just use natural light for example if i'm shooting in my bedroom i make sure the backdrop is towards the window like right now um, and the natural light is hitting the well hitting me the back and the backdrop so that way the best lighting is being 
on the subject. If I'm outside and it's, well, it's really easy, the sun's hitting you right there and then there, kind of don't really need to worry about that. It's super easy if you do it that way. I prefer natural light just because I think it looks better. So you got your lighting, got all that good stuff. Now you kind of need to figure out how you are going to literally take the photos. So for me, I am usually by myself. Um, I used to have to ask people to help me take the photos, but I kind of got frustrated with that because the people that I would ask wasn't always available when I was available to take those photos and it would get delayed and then I wouldn't be able to post in a timely manner and it would just all kinds of stuff. So I decided to get a tripod that would hold my phone and it came with a little clicker, meaning I hooked up, hooked up my phone to the clicker with by Bluetooth and I could just click it and it would take the photo while I was standing in front of the backdrop which was pretty awesome made it really simple for me to do and I could just literally do it all by myself so if you're kind of in a similar situation where you live by yourself or you don't want to depend on people I highly recommend doing that um, I'm pretty sure I still have access to that same link that I bought that from so I'll put it down below if not I'll put something pretty similar the one I got I think it was around $15 so once you got that remember it's, all, it's a one-time thing you don't need to keep buying it so it's I definitely if you plan on selling and planning on taking a lot of photos that way it's totally worth the investment pretty much it now you kind of have to take your photos click away what I do is I like to take a front photo a uh, photo of the back and then a photo of the tag and if there's any special detailing so let's say i'm taking a photo of the shirt that i'm wearing right now um this shirt has some cool little details so i would take a close-up of this um oh my gosh my camera battery is gonna die so i would take a, a photo of that close-up and then yeah pretty much that and then i do edit my photos oh my gosh the rest of the video is gonna be rushed now uh, i do edit my photos but i barely do because i want to keep the natural colors like the actual colors to be shown that way but i sometimes will use lightroom visco and tessa i change it up all the time so don't ask me exactly how to do it kind of whatever i think is good in the moment it's really simple like that so um i'll try to link all the products down below that i could maybe help you out so you don't even need to buy anything like I mean, you can even probably prop up your phone on top of books and have it lean on something and put a timer on it like doesn't need to be fancy just it can definitely work with what you have already so good clean background good lighting and that's pretty much it like that's what you need to worry about yeah um i hope this video helped you out guys and hopefully um you'll be taking those good quality nice clean photos for your depop Sorry, the last bit was rushed. I apparently, even though I am a professional photographer, I don't know that I always seem to forget to charge my battery. <laughs> uh, um, so sorry, it was a little rushed at the end, but hopefully this helps you. Um, if you have any more questions, I'm totally rushing. Ah, I'm rushing, I'm rushing. Um, if you guys have questions on how to do this further, if I missed it a little bit, just let me know. Well, hope you guys have a fabulous day. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and you'll see me next time.